everyone welcome back to my channel JB's lecture I am Jeeva Tacharya and today in this video I shall discuss about 11 most important questions from a gorilla in the guest room written by Gerald Dardell belonging to the syllabus of ISC board class 11 so without wasting time I shall directly go to the questions so today I shall not discuss uh, about all the 11 most important questions but today I shall discuss about 6 out of them and then in my next video I shall definitely come with the rest of the questions. So let us start with question number 1. Describe in your words the narrator's first meeting with Npongo. So here the narrator or the speaker he met with Npongo where for the first time he met with Npongo at the animal shelter of the Royal Society for the prevention of the cruelty of animals. Okay, so there he was invited or he was told by the animal dealer to meet with the baby gorilla and his name was Npongo. So when he first met baby gorilla that time he saw that the gorilla was really healthy and the gorilla was of 18 inches high and uh, he later he realized that the gorilla was actually you know heavier for his size how when the baby gorilla that means in pongo first saw the narrator he strolled to him and held up his hands to be lifted up so the narrator take the baby gorilla in his lap and he felt that his uh, you know weight is actually uh, greater for his size and he realized that he was heavier for his size okay and uh, the gorilla was the most handsome one and uh, he was really well behaved well mannered naughty healthy and everything that an animal could have at uh, his you know childhood so the narrator was really amazed and he was surprised because right at the very beginning he was afraid thinking the fact that probably that animal dealer would show you some baby chimpanzees because they uh, had a kind of confusion in between baby chimpanzees and baby gorilla but that did not happen and uh, later uh, the narrator gave him one banana and that banana also was eaten happily by that gorilla so that was the very first meeting um, of the narrator with the baby gorilla and it was really amazing really surprising uh, so now question number three how did Npongo become the favorite occupant of the zoo? That I have already given you a hint in question number one that is um, uh, about the very meeting, the very first meeting in between the narrator and Npongo. What was that? That was that uh, Npongo was a really healthy baby gorilla. He had courteousness, he was uh, well mannered, he was well behaved and he had a wonderful sense of humor. He was the most handsome gorilla ever. He was uh, heavy, he was naughty, his gesture, his uh, demeanor, that means body language, everything was attractive and that was how Npongo became the favorite occupant of the zoo. Now come to question number four. Describe the family's reaction to the gorilla. Right at the very beginning when Npongo's cage was not ready for two days Npongo was assigned to the guest room of the uh, writer or of the speaker. Okay that is Mr. Darrell's guest room. So Mr. Darrell's wife and mother at the very beginning were very afraid of the uh, appearance of the gorilla and how would uh, it behave with them they were completely afraid of that they were really like what would happen they were um, in great confusion but with time when the gorilla was kept over there with time through his uh, demeanor through his um, you know great sense of humor through his well uh, mannered gesture everyone became uh, you can say fan of that baby gorilla or of that npongo now how npongo explored the guest room so you know npongo was a gorilla and he was a baby gorilla so you can definitely be able to see the differences in between uh, an adult and a child you can see the difference in case of human beings then why not animals animals also will be to some extent different 
baby animals would be definitely different than the adult animals so here npongo was a baby gorilla so definitely npongo could be well mannered well behaved but npongo's innocence would definitely uh, create a kind of you can say shade okay in this particular story now when npongo was kept in the guest room he first laid on the sofa but after that he became bored with lying on the sofa so he decided that he would make a circuit around the room so he started to roam here and there but he also stopped here and there now and then just like a professor inside a museum okay and he touched the ornaments he touched the furnitures with great delicacy that those things would never ever get harmed by him so that was how in pongo explored the guest room and now in today's video i will discuss uh, the last question that is question number 6 that is why did the author keep a watch on in pongo in the guest room and how did the ape behave there okay so why did the author do so first of all in pongo was not a human being he was a baby gorilla and secondly the author had a very bad experience with baby chimpanzees once he kept baby chimpanzees at his house and the way those baby chimpanzees uh, destroyed the house that was horrible and that was that was why the author or the writer or the speaker was actually uh, to some extent confused at the very beginning and kept an eye on the baby gorilla um, to see how would he behave but he became completely amazed he became completely excited and surprised looking at the fact that the ape behaved in a so much um, you know well mannered way he was well mannered well behaved and when he touched the ornaments the furnitures i have just told you in the previous questions answer he touched it with great delicacy that those things would never ever get harmed in any way okay uh, so up to question number 6 in this video today i have discussed in my next video i shall discuss about the rest of the questions uh, if you think that my videos are helpful to you don't forget to share among your friends family members cousins and everyone and don't forget to like my video and subscribe to the channel so for now bye